I wrote a lot of scripts for television for a, a series for children and that resulted uh, uh, in animation uh, 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 films about these heroes, a rabbit and a detective and they were visiting all kind of, uh, uh, of cities in, uh, in Europe. We made books about them and uh, uh, we made books about their adventures with, uh, with uh, uh, buildings that came alive. I'll show you some of the, the, the uh, uh, storyboards we made uh, uh, from it. So working for children and writing for children television resulted in a lot of commissions from people who wanted me to design uh, for children. And one of the commissions was uh, a library bus for children. Now normally, Library buses are just converted uh, uh, city buses, just average city buses where, uh, 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 where containers of, um, of books are held. It's good that you still have this feeling of, um, of the workers here, that, that the history is coming back. Um, <coughs> so. But these are just uh, dull kind of buses and, and dark, of course. <coughs> now what we wanted is to give the children a story. And I remember my sister, uh, when she was reading, um, she always uh, wanted to sit on a, a branch in a tree high above everything. So, so she had the idea that she was in her world of fantasy. but at the same time being in control. And that's what children like to do. Climb trees, create their own environment, uh, and read books, be in their fantasy. So therefore we thought, well, we got to lift up the children and create a kind of a nest for them. So this is the um, idea that came out of that. So we made, created a, a, a container that could be lifted from uh, a so-called treasure room full of books and uh, uh, made out of ordinary materials. So here you have the, uh, the library bus uh, going from one place to the other and uh, it's just an average uh, uh, sea container, second-hand sea container we bought in China for uh, not as much uh, uh, money and when it arrives uh, the container is lifted as, as, as someone is lifting his, his skirts and then here's the, the treasure room full of books and the children arrive and, uh, um, and now they not only bring their books and get their books but they can stay for a couple of hours and this is their place, this is their clubhouse one could say and here you see the children arriving, reading the books and we did all kinds of things to, uh, to uh, um, add to, to the fantasy of the children. Of course, we made a, a, a transparent floor so that they could uh, play hide and seek and look at their friends when they arrived. And uh, we had these fat boys where, um, uh, where they can stay for a couple of hours. They are computers and they have these round windows for uh, watching their family back home far away in the, in the villages. Some images. Another project I want to show you is a project we're working on now. Um, it's a project in, uh, in Amsterdam on a former shipyard, one of the biggest shipyards in, in, in the Netherlands of the, of the 50s. A huge complex and now completely uh, empty. And like this huge complex, people are wondering what to do with it. And uh, of course, all kinds of creati creative activities have been uh, going on, like here, flea market and a fashion show and all kinds of activities. Like, it's comparable what's happening here in Taliska. And um, um, the question was, this is a, a, a floating hotel for the former people who worked at that site. So that was built in, uh, I think, in the 60s uh, ex to give extra room for, for the workers in, uh, uh, on the shipyard. And now it's uh, trans transferred into um, uh, a budget hotel. And we were asked uh, to do something about uh, this, this ugly uh, floating thing. It's fantastic because it's mobile. Uh, you can tow it from one place to the other and uh, if it's in a way you just tow it away and bring it to another place. But on the other hand, it blocks the view and it is... And we were asked, can you do something with it? Can you 
just transform it into uh, something different. And we were, of course, uh, enlightened by uh, the ships that were built on that shipyard. And you see the silhouette of a boat is uh, made by the chimneys, of course. For the rest, the boat is quite a dull thing. It's uh, just a hull with uh, some deck houses, but the chimneys make a boat. So we thought of why not make chimneys on this uh, on this uh, boat and hotel, on this boatel, and call it the boatel. So these are uh, five exclusive rooms where people can, uh, with uh, double floors, where that people can rent and uh, stay. Now, instead of a dull thing, the ship becomes a story. A story, uh, a funny story maybe, and you can stay in a letter. So if your name starts with a B, uh, whose name starts with a B? Well, the European written B. No one here starting with a B? That's a pity, otherwise you would have a free uh, night in that ship in... Uh, and all Olga's here? No Olga's? Oh, there's an Olga. Well, there's a free night for you in the O in September. You can have a ticket here after my uh, my lecture. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and all uh, letters are different. And we wanted to make an event, a story. Uh, create a story out of uh, the building of uh, the letters and before they are placed on the deck uh, there will be a sailing tour through the port of uh, Amsterdam and there will be a party when all the letters are hoisted on the deck and all letters are different um, the B for example is uh, a place to stay but you can skate there's a skate ramp here it's a letter for skaters and when you Go up the stairs, there you can play games, and there's another stair, and here you can um, uh, watch television, look at the stars, and sleep with four people, and you can decide what to do during the night. Well, four people. <laughs> Lots of possibilities, I would say. Even if you're tired after uh, skating. Um, the E, for example, is uh, the smallest cinema in, um, in Amsterdam and it's designed like uh, typical art deco uh, cinemas, you know, from uh, the heydays of uh, cinema and there's this ticket booth made in alum aluminium behind, of course, is, uh, is not a ticket seller but the toilet and the shower and here you have cinema and the stairs going up you have a bubble bath, and out of the bubble bath you can have this wonderful panoramic view across the city. And if you are finished your bubble bath, you lie in your bed again with four persons. We got something with four persons in the bed. And then you can watch your favorite, um, well, what kind of a film? Um, well, it's their choice that they want to look at this kind of films, but okay, you can watch your favorite film. And this is how it looks like when you arrive from uh, Central Station. The other side, you see the former shipyard. This is even, um, this is a, a submarine from Russia. That's part of, uh, uh, of the whole collection of uh, ship sets there and this is the former shipyard and here you have the Bautel. So this will add another story to, to that former shipyard. This will maybe add some new, as you can say, authenticity to an old place. <clears throat> now this is a drawing made by Eames and this has always influenced me during my study. You know, Eames was an architect, they were architects, uh, they were a couple, uh, Charles and Ray Eames, and they were very much into how we live, how we think as children. What can we do? What can we make out of living? And they were playful. They were children themselves. And he made this wonderful uh, picture about our activities, how we play, how we love to, to make mixed drinks, 
painting and we were archiving our lives and doing funny things and we were making things and projecting our films and well they do it with two but making love to music playing cards etc so this is a reflection of our life how we want to live in peace having fun and I was looking at the picture and I'd always wanted to do something with it. So I came up with the idea and I proposed it to a Dutch broadcast company. Um, let's make a house that is designed by children. And then they asked me, yeah, but where it's going to? I said, I don't know. Let's start with an open start. And I don't know where it's leading to and just go with the flow. And then we proposed and that uh, uh, program for children on Dutch, Dutch television is called Het Klokhuis, which means the core of, of an apple, every day on television. And they said, okay, we asked the children how they want to live. We asked them on television how they want to live, not what their houses would look like. No, how do you want to sleep? How do you want to eat? How do you want to play? And they came with all kinds of proposals. Thousands of children came with entries. Some wanted to live in a shoe. Here they want, of course, to live in a, in a core of an apple. Uh, houses on stilts. This guy wanted to live in a dragon. Here, as you see in the leg of the dragon, a window. And they came with all kinds of solutions here under the earth. All kinds of solutions for... Uh, um, here you see uh, solar panels and uh, wind energy. Here's an other windmill. They were much aware of, of their environment. And, and, and here even grass and, 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 uh, on the roof and, and, and a tree on the roof. And out of all these uh, ideas, we selected six uh, children. Uh, and out of their ideas, ideas, we tried to find what could a house for these children look like? We combined it, we even did a workshop with them. We made it more serious and still we had no money to build it. But step by step when we uh, uh, showed our first uh, programs on television, step by step people realized, well this is something we might put money in and step by step we found some money. Everything of course was filmed and uh, here they are explaining their first designs. And of course we added all kind of uh, fantastic things from the children. We used that idea of the apple. This is a device where you can cut out the, the heart of the apple. And uh, we used it to explain something about the, uh, uh, the technique and the steel work inside the building. Here you literally see that, that apple cutter. And um, so we followed it and it was built finally. But we never knew what could come out of it? And, and it looks like uh, a piece of um, pink cake on a plate. And now it is uh, a center for architecture for, for children. And we added all kinds of things like this slide. And the windmill, of course, is there. And there's uh, 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 solar panels. Uh, we created a, a garden where, ca where they can grow their own cop crop. And the funny thing is, we never knew from the beginning what was the program, how it would look like. All was coincidental. And, and afterwards we said, well, starting with such an open end could only lead to this result. Now, for example, this was the, the drawing of one of the boys who won. Um, he wanted to sleep under the sea. You see him here lying. Isn't that a fantastic surrealistic drawing that you could sleep under the sea and breathe at the same time? And here's his room. You see the anchor and a ship under the sea. And uh, this is his, well, a pirate, something he was influenced by the pirates. But he said, no, I, I do not want only sleep under the sea. I want to look through the surface of the sea here where the fishes are swimming. And then I can look at the stars. And we said, how, 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 how can we translate that into, into a real building? So we, uh, we designed an upside down house here, hoisted into the, the, the pink cake. From inside, you can see it. And um, 
Here you have the upside down house. And of course, it's standing on grass. If you lie on the ground and you stand upside down, you see, and even the, the, the things for the electricity and the, uh, uh, are like uh, mushrooms, red mushrooms. And inside that house, um, see on top of the house, uh, you have the, the sea. Here's the sea, and you can look through it. And from down, you can look through it and see the fishes swimming. And you can see the stars here on top uh, are the stars, and uh, you can see the stars, and you can. So we interpreted the, the, the drawings of uh, the children and tried to come as close as possible to their first ideas. Now, this is the kitchen made by one of the girls. You see, it's, uh, it looks like a, a snail. And then I asked her, why do you want a kitchen look like a snail? And she said, slow cooking. <laughs> and all the, all the colors here. And uh, she thought it was lovely to, uh, to be all gathered around the kitchen and see the one who was cooking. So we uh, made a kitchen like a snail where all the children can sit around. Here you see the children. And they have cook lessons uh, uh, when, they, uh, when they arrive in the... They can do all kinds of things now in the, in the center. Even the cupola, which is, uh, of course, a big cherry on the, on the cake here, uh, is copied. And now is the ventilation uh, for the kitchen. It's a 1 to 10 copy, a model of uh, the real cupola. So we played with all kinds of, uh, of things. And, uh, <clears throat> and it's embraced by, uh, by the children now. It's, uh, the, the center is visited, um, I think, thousands of children. Uh, during the year are coming to, uh, uh, to be taught. Uh, and of course we didn't forget, uh, don't forget the animals, the children told us. Don't forget the animals. Of course we didn't. We wanted to show all the materials, the wood, the plastic, uh, uh, the ceramics, the ceramic rim, typical uh, the tiles of, of uh, the Dutch roofs. And we created uh, special uh, um, roof tiles for uh, animals, for birds. Uh, to nest, for example, this is an, um, this caravan is for the bird who flies every year from the north to the south, for the restless bird, and uh, here we have the bird with the clock. Um, he can look at the clock. The children wanted the bird, at an early bird, um, then he knows when to start singing. So he goes out to look at the clock, and then he knows, oh, it's about time to sing. So we had. Everything, even the brickwork of uh, here down, um, made of special stones. Uh, you see the, 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 the name of the house is made of this brickwork, but it can be used as a climbing wall for uh, children. And there's a playground around the house. And even uh, as young as they are, they know how to uh, create a, a Buckminster Fuller-like uh, uh, constructions so they learn about architecture about material and of course while they are playing now what's the message there's no message it's an open end it's uh, telling stories it's uh, it's about not knowing what you're doing and I think architecture it's about storytelling, and it's about planning the impossible, and knowing is not knowing, or maybe it's about believing, believing in a better future and believing yourself as a child. Thank you very much.